how's it going? You're watching the Iron Wheel Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. So what is this? Shock horror. I'm actually cycling today. Yes, I'm cycling outdoors for the first time in a while. Uh, I had to bring my car into service today. So I am cycling for a specific reason. Dropped my car off at service and now cycling back to the service center. And of course I picked the one day where it is raining. It's not raining too bad. Um, there are some nice lightning uh, happening around, so it sounds bad, but it's not actually too bad. And to the service center, it's only a grand total of about five kilometers. So nothing at all. This is barely even a training session. This is barely even a warm up. This weekend I do have the Western Sydney Half Ironman. Yippee! I was taking my bike out today. One of the main reasons was to check does it all still work because I barely used it in the last six months. Um, seems to be fine. Seems to be all good. So I'll give it a good clean and re-grease tomorrow. Um, a degrease and a re-grease tomorrow. And I should be all good and all set. Uh, I might change the inner tubes as well just in case, you know, general bike maintenance. So my training this week has been very minimal. Uh, I've done a little bit of strength work at the gym, some cycling, some running, that sort of stuff. Um, and I did a PT session, so I'm starting some personal training sessions as part of a six week challenge thing that I'm doing at my gym uh, to try and lose as much body fat as possible. So I had a weigh in um, to begin with as part of this and I was at 25% body fat, which is way too much, um, about 75 kilograms. I'm, I should be closer to about 65. I think about this time last year, I was about 65 kegs. So I'm way above what I need to be. But this week, obviously not too much training because tomorrow is the half Ironman Western Sydney. It has really crept up on me so fast. Um, yeah, I'm not prepared, <laughs> especially for the swim. But as long as I can get through the swim, uh, once I get out of the water, get the wetsuit off, um, readjust. Uh, after that, it's all smooth sailing-ish. Like the cycle, it's just, it's a two and a half hour, maybe three hour bike ride. So that's pretty easy. The course is pretty flat. So it's, there's not too many hills. There's one slight little hill, um, but it's nothing compared to something like Matthew Flinders Drive. So it's a nice, easy bike ride across the entire course. And then the run is, yeah, the run is also fairly flat. Uh, there's a little bit of a dip as you go down into sort of the environmental area, environmental area, like the bush area. So you run down the bush, then you do this turn around down to sort of the river, the Nepean River and back. That has a little bit of incline, but once you get back to the regatta center, you do a couple of laps of the regatta center itself and that is all completely flat. So today, not doing too much. I went to Kung Fu this morning, but only assisting and really not doing too much. And then tonight, it's just try to get to sleep as early as possible, try to stop eating as early as possible as well so that my body can digest as early as possible and I can go to the bathroom in the morning. Uh, I made a whole video about how to do race day poops. I'll leave a link up there somewhere. And I think I might now also just quickly stop by a pub, get a nice relaxing beer to start my evening and see how I go. And because it's a very Star Warsy time, this Monday I also joined the Mandalorian premiere at the Disney Plus premiere here in Sydney. Here's a little bit of footage of that. And for that beer, I'm going to go to my trusty bar, the Piermont Bridge Hotel. Great as a relaxant, so that I can calm down before the race tomorrow. 
At least that's my excuse. All right, so had a pint, uh, feeling a little better. Still not feeling great about tomorrow, especially the swim. Uh, just because I haven't been swimming in a while. I mean, okay, so my last swim, I can say, was a 3.8 kilometer swim. So, hey, that's saying something. But I have been swimming throughout most of my childhood. So the swim, it should be fine. Like, I know how to swim and worst case, I'll just do breaststroke. So this afternoon, uh, not going to be doing too much. I've got to get up. Uh, I've got to leave my house at probably... I want to be at Penrith Regatta Centre by about 5 a.m. Uh, the transition area is open, um, so you can uh, register on the morning of the race, and the transition area is open between, I think it's about 4.30 and 5.45 a.m. So I'm going to try and get there for about 5 a.m. so that I've got plenty of sort of buffer time, and it's apparently going to take, at the moment, looking at Google Maps, it's going to take an hour and a half, but I'm pretty sure that at that time in the morning it's probably going to take about an hour to get from where I am to Penrith Regatta Centre. So that means I have to leave by about 4 a.m. or just before, which means that I've got to get up at about 3 a.m., which, that's ridiculous, but the things you do for triathlon. So it's gonna be a very early morning and therefore a very early night. Uh, so I'm gonna be having dinner fairly early as well, actually probably quite soon, um, something that's not too heavy, something I don't have to digest too much. Uh, give my bike a bit of a clean as well. That's a pretty major thing, especially since I'm gonna be using my bike all of tomorrow. The weather tomorrow is between, I think it was like 18 degrees and up to about 25 degrees uh, Celsius. And with, it's supposed to rain up until tomorrow morning, up until about 6 a.m. thereabouts. And then it's supposed to stop raining and just be cloudy all day, which I really hope it is, but who knows, it might get a bit rainy later on in the day, um, and that might coincide with when I'm doing my bike or run. So that is what it, why it is very important to make sure you do training in the rain when you can. Uh, don't cancel your training just because it's ra uh, raining actually do your training because you never know on race day it could be raining and the race isn't necessarily going to be cancelled just because it's a bit of rain so you need to get used to the idea of running cycling and swimming in the rain to everyone who is racing tomorrow in the western sydney ironman 70.3 or the half ironman best of luck enjoy it uh, and I'll see you at the finish line. Anyway, that about does it for me. If you want to check out my video I did last year for the Western Sydney Half Ironman, I'll leave a link up here. If you want swim, bike, run, and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.